Retro is coming back in fashion, in my opinion. Pack a lunch, go somewhere fancy, feel good. Welcome to a test drive video. Uh, Dan Jones is my name. I'm here with Chloe. Hey, how are we going? Chloe's from Sundance Marine. She's come up from the Melbourne office. They've got a Sydney office as well. And uh, yeah, we just finished Sydney Boat Show. It's actually sunny in Sydney. Um, you, you guys don't understand how happy we are to see this. Look, You've, you got the summer this year. Soaking it up. Oh my God, it's been so crazy. But yeah, um, we're praying for a better summer this year. And uh, we're on the Invictus. We're on the Invictus 320. GT. Um, this is a bold, brave design, and I, I respect brave people. So um, this is going to be a bit of fun. This is the test drive video. We will be filming a walkthrough video uh, just after this. So yeah, I think we're just going to have a bit of a cruise around the harbour. Um, just discover what we do along the way. I've just been sitting downstairs flying the drone. Chloe, you've already sat up on deck. Um, we'll just have a, a bit of a go and just see what we find. Um, First things first, this boat's about uh, 5.6 tonne, uh, empty. She's got three, uh, actually four engine options. So we are running the V6 inboard. So they're V6 250 horsepower um, uh, petrols. You can also do V8s, uh, 350s. There's a diesel option and you can do outboards as well. Um, so that's pretty cool to see. Um, the Invictus brand's been around for about 10 years. Um, They've been, yeah, you know, I've already seen them in Sydney and I, I believe there's a few in Melbourne as well, right? Yeah. Yeah, and it's very Italian. And retro is coming back in it's fashion, back. in my opinion. Yeah, I can see this working really well as a tender function and just a cool Sydney Harbour, stylish day boat. But we'll get to that in the walkthrough because you came for the test drive. Um, so we've got the 250s, stern drives, I'll talk about the dash in more detail in the walkthrough, but I do have joystick parking. I have got the bow thruster here, trim tabs and leg trim operation just here. Um, I'm actually gonna stand up for this part of the drive. Um, and yeah, we'll just get moving, I think. So I was at 5.5 knots just there. Rolling up through 2000 revs. I'm just gonna get the boat on the plane. My drive's down, no trim tab. Rolling straight through 14, 15, 16 knots. Let's give it some more. I'm just gonna sit it on about 22 there, so I'm gonna give it a little bit of leg trim and a little bit of trim tab down. That's uh yeah, about about one third trim tab down, 22 knots, 4,000 revs. It's just cruisy. This is just cruisy. This is what it's designed for a boat like this. It's it's really like you and a friend. Yeah. Pack a lunch, go somewhere fancy, and feel good. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. It's it's quite cold, but we've taken our jackets off to look sunny. Yeah. <laughs> look at you guys. Look, I need all the sun I can get, <laughs> so I'm happy with it. Yeah, I know. Uh, all right, I'll just increase that speed a little bit. I'm going to find a slightly less windy spot for the purpose of you and me being a bit more comfortable. And yeah. we'll do some turns and show everyone. I'm just gonna go wide around this barge here. So that'll be interesting to see how the boat goes through those waves. But I was sitting on 22 knots before at 4,000 revs. Notching it up to 4,200 gives me a speed return of 24 and a half. And the boat feels a bit more comfortable there. So I've got just a degree or two on the leg trim and about a third down on the trim tabs. And the boat feels like like it's in its happy place. I've got some, I've got a little bit of confused water coming from the left. I'm about to have some more coming from the right, but I'm gonna wait for that barge and that ferry to pass me before I turn into those waves. So initially we're gonna have, right now we've got waves coming from two directions, on us now, on the right and on the left. And so far, no water over the bow. So that's, that's what I see as a, a possible advantage of a, a style of boat like this. You get a lot of trendy boats, and here we go, we're just getting some waves on the bow now. I'm gonna hit that at 24 knots, and once again, 
no water on the bow. So, back to my earlier point, you get a lot of trendy boats, and this is, I'm gonna put this in the trendy boat category, um, that look beautiful, it, it, it brings up a bit of an emotion. I don't know about you, like, I, when you picked me up, I was like, you look I, at it, I was like, oh, this is cool. Yeah. I felt, I felt really special, like the ferry was there, everyone's, all the normal people were getting on the ferry. You guys rocked up in this thing and I was like... Rockstar status. <laughs> I was like, this is cool. Um, so that's the sort of, I think that's the sort of emotions a design like this is trying to uh, bring out in you, essentially. But they're not always giving you the practical day boat experience. They, a lot of them have quite low gunnels or they're going to have a flared bow. Um, and that's going to encourage a lot of deceleration when you hit a wave and a lot of um, so the boat's going to slow down and the bow's going to lift and when the bow lifts it's got to land and that's generally going to throw some water up and if, if it's that shape of bow that water is probably going to go up and then back in our face and i mean what we just went through waves coming from the right and the left 24 knots like I'm dry. It's it's really dry, very glass. Like, put, go back to that back seat. Just touch those those seats and tell me if they're dry. That looks Nothing. dry. Yeah. Okay. So that's that's an indication of, of what we what we're dealing with. So I'm just going to bring the speed up a little bit more. Oh, I love petrol engines. I hope we can do this for a little bit longer. <laughs> okay. Okay. All right, so that's 4,500 revs. It feels like it wants some trim tab up just there. So now I'm going to, I've only got two, two bars on the trim tabs and that's giving me a speed return of 26 and a half knots. And yeah, the level attitude, visibility is good. I feel good standing. It, the, to transition to sitting, you just pick up and then the seats are quite, the, the, the cushions are quite, um, but it, it actually feels comfortable. Like, it's not one of those uh, super squishy ones. The foam's quite a dense foam. But this design... You feel supported around? Yeah, I, I, feel, I feel fine. So, yeah, I, I can be comfortable doing this. This wheel is adjustable. So, if, you, if you're a taller or shorter guy or girl, you could actually just fiddle with that. And we'll discover more about this seating in the walkthrough. But yeah, we're just cruising at 20... 26 and a half, I mean that feels, that feels like the, the boat's happy place at the moment. We're just rolling through some boat wash here. This is, we're going with these waves. And I'm just gonna go over them slightly diagonally. Once again, no water. So this is just telling me social situations. You're probably gonna wear your linen shirt. The girls are probably gonna dress up because you do want a boat like this. And I think that's, you know, quite a good thing because some of those other trendy designs, you'll dress up yeah. and then you'll get soaked. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Right, then, yeah you cry the whole time. You don't have to worry about the girls screaming about the water. No, no, no. These are real personal problems we have to deal with. So, whilst we're moving along, let's just feel the wind. So from a seated position, I'm okay with my hat on here, and I feel the wind starts there. We're what about what you similar for you. You've, yeah. you've got long hair, so it's more noticeable. And then, here. So that's where it starts for me. So if I stick my head out, I might, I might blow my hat off. And then from a standing position, so I'm okay, five, seven. The wind, I'm still, I'm still protected by this wind strength. I think, I think we need to try full speed. Why not? Okay, all right. Let's um, turn, turn the boat around. So visibility is epic. Like, I'm, it, it's an open boat. What do you, you know, it's not much more to say about that. Um, the heel angle is what you would expect. Nothing scary, and, and but it's, it's lively enough for people to enjoy themselves. And I'll just give it a little blast here. Okay, straight through. 28, 29, raising the trim tabs. I've got a couple of waves here, so that's not gonna be a true representation at the moment. What I might do, guys, is wait until I just get in this flat water. A couple of decent waves just here. And I'll try that speed. 
speed run just to, again when I get around the corner because I want to give you an accurate representation of what she can do. So I just dialed that down to 23 knots there to go through those waves. I don't know if you'd go for the diesel motor on this boat because I suspect most people are really just going to use this to go out to restaurants and go to lunch. Like, I, I don't see this as a long distance style of boat. Here we go, here's our opportunity. Oh, let's give it done. Alright, trip tab's going up again. I'm just going to go through some water and wash here on the bow now. One, two, three. Giving a little bit of a trim up. So my speed return has just disappeared. Okay, go back to chart. 33 knots. 34 knots. Now I'm hitting wide open throttle. That feels like it wants a little bit of an engine trim up. 35 knots. Quite lively. So it feels yeah, it feels quite lively at this speed. Like this is fun. And you probably want to have a moderate amount of experience to go doing that all day, but I don't see many people doing it. 36 knots, top speed. Rolling it back 20. 7 to 24, I believe is going to be your average rev range for cruising around for the day. That gives you, uh, you know, revs anywhere from that 4,500 back to 4,000 revs, which gives us, you know, 4,000, 22, 22 and a half. So yeah, I think, I think that's kind of where it is. I think my takeaway on this boat, this is an easy boat to drive. Um, this is a this is an, a, a, a boat that it's all about emotions. You look at it, it's an emotive experience. You drive it, it returns that that experience to you in terms of good emotions, good emotions. So I think we go and find a um, somewhere quiet and let's. Let's discover this boat in a little bit more detail. What do you What do you say? Let's do it. Okay, so uh, I was going to stop the video around Bradley's head before and decided not to because um, Chloe and I figured we would show you a typical scenario or situation uh, that you're going to encounter on a boat like this. And that scenario is picking your mates up and going for lunch. Exactly. Yeah. And uh, that situation can be quite a stressful um, situation if you um, don't have a capable boat or haven't been trained properly yourself um, or both. So um, this particular boat is quite well um, kitted up so to speak So because we have the joystick, we got the bow thruster and it's a twin engine boat but my I guess the point I wanted to make to you guys is my my experience with these joysticks uh, through stern drive in the past has been you know moderately successful because they're a bit clunky um, and they can really rev up and rev down, and it's it's not a, a, a supernatural experience, um, and there's a lot of leverage happening at the very back of the boat um, in order for it to move the boat left and right. Um, I did, did just have a go of this joystick, and I understand this is actually a, a generation two, uh, I guess is the, the terminology I'm gonna use, and it's much smoother than the ones I've tried in the past. So that does actually make a difference. Um, so I'm gonna just actually do a bit of a touch and go as a simulated uh, pick up your mates um, and then go out for the day. We're just using my, my local yacht club here as a reference point. Um, and we'll just talk to you guys about what we discover. Um, I'm coming in on the throttles at the moment. I'll transfer to joystick in a second. First things first, we've got the quick um, thrusters, which is a button thruster system. So you've got a, a single button at the bottom to activate or, or turn the power on, and then you have port or starboard. Trick for young players on this one, if you're gonna use it, use two fingers like that. One finger for port, one finger for starboard, because if you are just using one finger and you accidentally press the wrong button, that can go wrong really quickly. So don't do that. So coming in, I, as I enter the mooring here, I'm actually gonna transfer over to the docking. You press docking, you have a standard mode and a high mode, and then you can actually just push forward on the joystick and steer. There we go. So if I wanted more power, I can actually um, get that increased power 
by um, pressing the high mode. And if I want less power, I just keep it in the standard mode. So what I'm gonna do is actually just creep, creep the boat in here and then I'm gonna stop, turn around, and I'm just gonna side slip the boat in towards the dock. Not actually gonna to touch the dock, we're just gonna do a little simulation here today. And I've got my hand on the bow thruster. Now at any time, if I wanted to, um, if I wanted to come back to the throttles, and I might do that if, uh, if it's worthwhile showing you, you just, you just use the throttle and it will, it will operate for you. So now what I'm doing, I'm just, turning the boat around to port by doing gentle tap on the on the joystick and that just slews the boat around like so it's all very controlled but notice I'm not you're not hearing any clunky noises this is something that you would have experienced uh, on some of the early generation joysticks and now I'm just going to side slip the boat ever so gently yeah lots of control there so that's great, like, that tells me that in your social scenario, with people talking at you, with your phones ringing, um, lots of distractions, um, you can still keep this boat under control or be in full control of it and not embarrass yourself. Which is, which is the number one thing you want to do on a boat like this. Let's face it, people are going to be looking at you. It's a boat that attracts attention. You want to actually look cool. Yeah, <laughs> so, I think that's the most important fact of all. I think it's kind of important. Yeah. So you need to boss the parking. So if, you know, a design of boat like this with a rail all the way around the side, so anyone from the dock can hold on to it and, and maintain control of the boat. We have easy access to the sides. We have the, the equipment and this generation two joystick is an improvement on the earlier models. With a minuscule amount of training, you will be able to boss this. And then from this helm position, standing and being able to look all around, communicate, you know, if someone's helping you with the, with the ropes, you can communicate with them or just do it all on your own. Um, you're gonna look cool, then Very you're gonna cool. feel cool, and that's what it's all about. Yes. <laughs> okay, guys, we're gonna film this walkthrough now, I promise. Uh, follow the link coming up on the screen now, and uh, have a look at that if you're interested in this boat. Dan Jones is my name, this has been Dan's Boat Life. Thanks for joining me, Chloe. We'll see you on the next one.